Good afternoon, everybody. I am Silu Malik, lecturer in physics from Government Polytechnic, Sunpur. So today, I am going to give a lecture on use of dimensional analysis method. So dimensional analysis method has been put into the following three uses, such as to convert the value of a given relation from one system to another system, like from MK, MK system to CJ system or CJS to MK system. Second one is to check the correctness of a given relation. Number three, to derive a relation among various physical quantities. All, three, all these uses are based upon the principle of homogeneity. So here we have to state what is principle of homogeneity. So principle of homogeneity states that the dimensional formula for every term on both sides of a given relation must be same. So by using this principle in these three uses, we have to derive or check or to check or to convert the value of a physical quantity from one system to another system. So out of these three uses, I am going to present one use like how to check the correctness of a given relation. So before check the correctness of a given relation, I have to take, I am taking some of equations of motion like V equals to U plus A T V square minus U square equals to 2 A S S equals to U T plus half A T square. So here in these three equations that I have already written here so out of these three equations, I am taking one example. Let us check the correctness of S equals to UT plus half a t square. So given relation is S equals to UT plus half a t square. So in this equation, there are two sides, left hand side and right hand side. We have to see how many terms are involved in this, in this equation. So here, three, term, three terms are involved. One is on LHS, two are on RHS. S here, that is displacement. UT, so U here, U designate or denotes initial velocity of a body. T here, time taken by the body. A itself, acceleration. T that I have mentioned. So first of all, I'm going to mention dimensional formula of S, displacement. So dimensional formula of displacement becomes L1. Or dimensional formula of every physical quantity must be represented in three fundamental quantities, such as mass, length, and time. So that I have written M0, L1, T0. So M here, here dimensions of S becomes 0, 1, and 0 in mass, length, time respectively. Okay. So next, I'm going through RHS, right hand side. So in on RHS, there are, there are two terms. One is UT, second one is half a T square. So here, half itself, non-dimensional constant. So let it. So dimensional formula of ut becomes u here velocity m0 l1 t minus 1 t itself time taken. So dimensional formula of t becomes t1. So after solution we get m0 l1 t0. Similarly dimensional formula of half a t square we get the dimensional formula of acceleration l1 t minus 2 dimensional formula of t square t square itself 
after multiplication we get m0 l1 t0 you see here the dimensional formula of these three terms becomes same so that the given relation is correct dimensionally okay it's a light